Okay, now that we have everything integrated for devise and all configured, the next thing to do is to set up a user model in the database. And that's gonna be a table where all of the users can be stored along with all their pertinent information. So to set this up, type in Rails G device user. Now you may notice we're not, even though we're creating a model, this is a special kind of model because it's one that has a lot of device methods automatically built into it. So just type that in, hit return, and now open up the uh, the migration file. And you can also take a look to see what else this did for us. It gave us a user uh, RB file in the models uh, in the models directory, created some tests for us, and then it also created a route. So this is device for user route. So all, it did all of that for us uh, just with that one command. So instead of just running the migration, let's take a look at it because I think you'll see there's a lot of information right here. So uh, this is what's going to run. It's going to create a table called users. And in the table, it's going to have email, encrypted password, the ability to reset your password uh, remember the created at uh, also have the ability to check the number of times you've signed in the current sign in uh, the last time you were signed in all of these things and the great thing about this these are things that you will have access to when you uh, when you integrate all of this into your application so if you want to show like a popular thing to show is when was the last time the user logged in and it'll show that and then you can do anything a uh, fun thing to do would be to see the last time a user was signed in and if they signed in after a certain period of time and say that they haven't signed in for two weeks you can set up a background task that checks for that schedules an email and emails them to say hey where are you at would you like to come in and uh, add a new task or add a project something like that so gives you a lot of built-in functionality which is pretty cool and if you scroll down you can see even some more content in there some popular ones to integrate in my comprehensive course we built in the confirmable uh, module and this is where it won't let a user in until they've confirmed their email address so that makes it pretty easy to do you can also lock users out so you want to if say that you're building a very secure application for a bank or something like that uh, you can set up and say okay if they have failed three times then it'll lock their account for a certain period of time or it will uh, lock it and then send an email to an admin to say hey go check on this there may be an issue um, and all of that's right there it also adds some indexes to speed up queries and it does all of this just with that one simple command that we did so I'm going to close out of this come back here and type in rake db migrate and let this run and after it runs we're going to be all good to go and uh, we can walk through how to actually test this out okay that looks like it all worked i'll open up the schema file and if you come down here now you have a new user table with all the information uh, and all of those columns that we already discussed so if you went through that great job in the next video we're going to see what this all looks like in the browser